Live from Detroit, Michigan, USA. In my house. In my house. In my house. Hosted by T. Carlita. In my house. Hosted by T. Carlita. Hosted by T. Carlita. Hosted by T. Carlita. Live from Detroit, Michigan, USA. Live, 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 live. In my house. In my house. Hosted by T. Carlita. Where the true stories are told and great music is played. Welcome to another episode of the In My House Techno Mu Music Show. Oh my God, I can't, it's been so long I can't even say it right. All right, we're gonna keep rolling. We are back in the In My House studios for real. And on this episode, have I got a surprise guest with an S for you. Today, this week, it is my honor and it's my privilege to host a name of numbers yes I said it a name of numbers and these guys are going to talk about who they are what they are how they became about and you know everybody wants to know about Sharivari 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 some bread and fine white wine so they are here to talk about a name of numbers plus there's a couple of exclusives. They've got some music, new music. You've been asking. They've got some new music coming out. And they're gonna talk about that too. So we're gonna talk about who they are, where they came about, how they hooked up with Mojo and other things. And also we're gonna talk about them being part of the 313 One Love book produced and put together by Marie Stoggett over in Berlin. So this is T. Carlito for the Animal House Techno Music Show. Let's listen to one of many, 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 many mixes of Sharivari. I think that's the soundtrack of our lives. Welcome to Detroit. This is T. Carlito for the Animal House Techno Music Show. music show and I told you a moment ago that these seats were going to be filled with somebody that you wouldn't even imagine. I'm honored and I'm excited to have a name of numbers in my house. Welcome to the show guys. Oh, thank, thank you, you for Welcome. inviting us. This is uh, <laughs> appreciate that, Tina. This is really a, a pleasure and a, a nice opportunity. Yeah. To, uh, finally finally have meet you. to finally meet right. you. And um, yeah. Mad props to Lou. Okay. Oh, yeah, My boy Scan7. Lou definitely. looked it up. He was like, hey, okay. you had uh, name and numbers on your show yet? I was like, no, but I want to. Okay. Right. And boom. Okay. So oh, yeah. we went. We're sending yeah. one out to Lou. Yes. Thank you, Track right. Master Lou. So um, 
You know, let's cut to the chase. Okay. Where the true stories are told and great okay. music is played. I think I've played Shari Vari on this show. I can't even tell you how many times. Mm -hmm. I've danced to Shari Vari. I can't even tell you how many times. So let's talk about... I mean, first of all, let me tell you something. When greatness walks in the room, besides myself, no, just kidding. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know how to start because I am like, I'm speechless to a certain point, and and it's not too many people that can get me there. But um, you guys are such an iconic. Do you guys know how iconic you are? in this music business, in this thing we call house? Probably not. I really don't pay that attention. <laughs> <laughs> but right. I, I've got some there. idea right. of it. Yeah, I've got some idea of it. Wow. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a great honor. It's a great honor and uh, to all our uh, fans, to, oh, wow. you know, all our the, the, the techno fans here. Right. And, you know, I appreciate you guys' support. Yeah, we're super thankful to and, all the fans. Um, I mean, we talking about 1981, right? 81. So, okay, yeah. so wait. You know, you Google stuff online, and it says 1981. Okay. Is that pretty accurate. much accurate? That's pretty much accurate. That is accurate. Okay. That okay. is accurate. Okay. Actually, let's see if we can get a little more accurate. Um. Sharvari for Sharvari was recorded in. Uh, I would say it was recorded in early October of eighty one. Okay. I would say October. Is that correct? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. October or November when we yeah. came out of Tanis Studios. That's what we recorded. At the time, Tanis, Tanis, Studios. Tanis Studios was um, it's located around six miles and Southfield. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Detroit for real. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we we happened to get with a couple of um, engineers that had a little vision themselves. That's all we were doing. They helped out a mm -hmm. lot. We used actually utilized a really odd synthesizer that was built by the engineer himself mm -hmm. that we used yeah, on the studio in the yeah, song. Right. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the the name we're gonna get into your name for later okay. in a minute. Right. Whenever you're ready. But uh, <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. But um, Sharivari with an S okay. changed to Sharivari with a C, or was Sharivari with an S always Sharivari? What? Talk about that. The Sharivari with the S versus the C. The C versus the S. Right. You guys went S. Did not turn into C, so what's up with that? Actually, it's vice versa. Oh. Uh, Charvai with a C was a clothier in New York. Mm. And that's the actual name. And then in Detroit, we have a party club that began their own party club and called themselves Charvai. Okay. We were, you know, dancing it up with them in, in the clubs. We were doing our own song, uh, own mixing and DJing and clubs ourselves. Okay. We really liked their name, and we made a song of it and changed the spelling. Okay. Paul, you want to chime in? I mean, Sterling. Well, yes, you're Paul, you're Sterling. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, but uh, Bashar Vari was a uh, clothing store. I, I don't think it still is, exists there okay. in yeah, New York. Sure. Upscale clothing store. And uh, something about that name. Resonated with you, right. you know, okay. Especially in that day of, of particular of GQ, of GQ and such, and it yeah. was like uh, great designers were very desirable, right? mm -hmm. and that was one. Mm -hmm. exactly. you know? Okay, so it was three of you guys at first. No, just us two. So Can wait on the record. Okay, so okay, dispel those myths then. Okay, because who's the third guy that's? Oh well, then we built musicians and singers around us, which is what we do pretty much every song. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. But as far as the number of names. Right. And as far as the writing of the song, that was Paul and I. Yeah. Um, we had, um, you know, we had a bass uh, player. Right. That was Roderick Simpson. Right. Uh, uh, Justin Powell helped arrange it. Right. And I have to give a, a shout out to uh, uh, Robert, Robert Taylor, Taylor, who recently just passed. That's okay. Yeah. Thank Robert you. That okay. Yes. He was yes. instrumental in the production of yes. the song as well. Yes, oh, yes. absolutely. Uh, yeah. He was the actually the electronic voice in the chorus initially. Uh, yeah. So you hear that Shara Vadi. That's him. That's him. That's, yeah. Robert That's Taylor. him. Oh, 
Exactly. Yeah. You know, we guys, we grew up, uh, well, we uh, went to high school, went to Oak Park together. Yeah. That's where we met Rob. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. We actually caught in New York. Uh, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Wow. He's okay. from New York. And actually, before we made the song, we used to DJ clubs. And, and actually, Charavari and what's the, uh, uh, Direct Drive, direct drive. Yeah. they're actually our rivals at oh, the parties every really? weekend, right? Then we I had we had uh, Robert Taylor. We called him New York, and he actually we had, we had, we had staged fun with uh, he could mix with his feet uh, and things what? like that. We had you know wow outrageous things we could do to right. you know show up our rivals. Okay, which actually we were all became. Yeah. Wow. But Robert Taylor, he was a very talented um, uh, DJ. Uh, like I say, he was from New York. Yeah. Now, New York is where a lot of that scratching and all that head. stuff originated. Right. And, you know, he came to Detroit and moved to Detroit. And so he had that, um, a lot of that New York style yeah, sound him. that he brought with him. And we enlisted with some of the things yeah. we were doing. Okay. Uh, musically okay. and mixing wise. I got you. Right. And it started really, we were DJing and we saw what we could do with it. We want to take it from that stage to the okay. record a phonograph. Oh, okay. well, Paul, Paul <laughs> came to me, music. Paul came to me one day and he said, you know, because we were dabbling in DJing. Okay. You know, All right. we, I, I can't say we um, were as familiar as a Daryl Shannon, right. um, um, oh, wow. Todd Johnson. Todd Johnson. Um, some of those guys, hey, those guys, they, they made the scene, yeah, you know, like Daryl Shannon was. Mixing up the music, right. the way they mix it. Yeah, Daryl Shannon, man, Sarcio. So, okay. Wow, Daryl right. right. Shannon, he made that classic mix from uh, Kano, I'm Ready to Gino Socio, Dancer. Yeah. It's a classic mix. He, it, his philosophy yeah. was the music makes the party. Yes, it does. And All day. he would have some selections of some. Um, imports, wow. wow, like Gino Socio, TE, Trans Europe Express. Yeah, okay. I got all those over here too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how to mix them like he does, okay. but I got them. Yeah, but I revisit those from time to time. That's the thing, just have them. just all yeah, time favorites. for sure, for sure. Yeah. We can't all be yeah. Daryl Shannon, so. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we talked about Shari Vari mm-hmm. and the inspiration behind the name of Shari Vari. Now let's talk about the inspiration behind the name of the two man band. So y'all could have called okay. y'all sales Paul and Sterling, but you did. Well, you know what? Well, how'd y'all come up with what? a name? It's a, it, no, okay. it is a name of numbers. It's a number of names. Oh, a number, number of names. names. Exactly. Okay. Right. And actually, we didn't come up with yeah. that. Okay. How'd and, you, see, how, and, and, come and, and in the beginning, when we were first, you know, Paul came to me one day and he was like, you know. Kind of fresh out of high school. No, we're still in high school. Yeah, so. actually. But did y'all have a song kind of laid down? Yet? Yeah, I actually okay. had okay. chest pressings yeah, that I took into the So school. you had you had no, the I'm, record. I'm talking about before then. Oh, okay, okay, before okay. Before then. All right. And Paul came to me one day. You know, it struck me kind of odd, but you know, uh, he's like, "Hey, man, um, you ever thought about? Uh, you think you might want to make, make a, a record?" record? <laughs> and I said, "Make a record." And I said, <laughs> "Yeah, okay." Yeah. Now. I've always, we've always been writers, even as kids. Okay. You know, whether it's comic books that we used yeah. to do, uh, short shows. stories. We actually used to throw know, plays when we were children. I've had, had yeah, okay. okay. I've had, um, I've been in a band, some kind of band, my cousins and this and that since I was, you know, knee okay. high. Okay. Okay. So we've always had that interest. And yeah, I was already a musician. Oh, he, I was okay. playing guitar right. and piano. And so we always had that okay. interest in music and, and and writing. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, he said he asked me if you know if I want to uh, make a record. And we take this to the like, next yeah, stage. Yeah. Okay. I said oh, I, that's. How do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> so now, you do that? So now we figured it out, yeah. and things changed throughout time. Okay. It was a different dynamic at that time where we were able to do things that I don't know if people would still be able to do today, but it's right, generally exactly, the same. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't, like you said, today I don't know if you'd be able to, to walk into the uh, studio w, uh, and actually have the DJ talk to 
Right. Walk into G Fair, I say, hey, we got this. Oh, new no, car. you can't, you can't go to w, hey, it's mama, WJOB mama. now, iHeartRadio or 105.1 Bounce or somewhere. Yeah, okay. No, you okay. can't run into the Penobscot. GPR, go. GPR? Yeah, 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 yeah you, can't, you can't go into the Penobscot building okay. and be like yeah. with your little regular bag. Right. No, it doesn't work that way. Right. Right. It's all programmed right. now. Okay. So you go in there and ask for, can I see Mojo? You don't expect that to happen. Oh, we wait around, we wait, wait. You know, to see we got to talk yeah. to them. Right. We, they, yeah. let, they let us yeah. in the building. Yeah. Right? We did get inside out of the cold and okay. you know, we were waiting around for him. He finally came out and um, spoke with us. Yeah, I spoke with yeah, One thing led to another. Yeah. He said, let me, let, me, let me give this a listen. Okay. And uh, Mojo liked it. Yeah. And what they yeah. said, yeah. that's yeah. you guys? <laughs> he said, there's a bunch of us in, uh, you know, yeah. uh, maybe about five of us or so. Yeah. Because when like, we first started the the band. Okay, Paul and I knew we wanted to make a record. Well, you're going to need a bass player. You're going to need this and that. Okay, things start out one way. But, yeah, you know, expand, expand. eventually, um, you know, you have to um, look for change is going to, you know, things are going to, you're going to have to make adjustments. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, this guy, he can't play anymore. Well, this guy, he wants to start his own thing, you know. And so, it just wound, just came down to Paul and I. Okay. Which initially it was from the source. From the source. Okay. So it only broke back down to what it was. Right. <laughs> Y'all was trying, but, yeah. but okay. But right. I mean, so yeah. what, it, what it really plays out to be is that we write and produce and then we surround ourselves with other great writers and producers, uh, at least for that project. Female vocalists. Female vocalists. You know, uh, so the female drummers. vocalist, who was the vocalist on the Shari Bari Oh, initially that was Ira Cash and Sheila Wheaton. Okay. From uh, that I went to high school with. Okay. Uh, okay. Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Oh, wow. Henry Ford High, yeah. yeah. Oh, Detroit. I chose that was, them and that was a, it worked Detroit out perfectly. Detroit thing, yeah, yeah, all the way. So let's talk about a number of names. Where'd that come from? Okay, a, a number of names. When we spoke with Mojo, when we met Mojo, he actually was being interviewed by Detroit's uh, Free Press staff writer, Jimmy Carlin at the time. Okay. So we happened to meet the both of them at the same time, and they were really got interested in what we were doing. And they started discussing it. What should their name be? So we Mojo, didn't have a, we didn't have a name. We, we came in name. there, and Mojo, he's like, yeah, that's it. He's like, so like you find know, Mojo so and Jimmy Carlin. What's, what's you guys' name? They kicked it around. And um, we like, well, you know, I we think, don't have a name. I think what Jimmy Carlin said, a number of names comes to mind. Yeah. And Mojo said, that's oh, it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. And we said we don't have a name or whatever. He said, okay, well, let me kick it around with my buddy Jimmy Carlin. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> electronic is electronic. Yes, it is. We're just, we're just bringing in electricity. Okay? I'm loving this yeah. moment right yeah. now. I couldn't get any any more more. Thank you for the confirmation. I couldn't get any more electrifying. That, that was electrifying. Hey, hey. Okay. So wow. it's the purpose for the noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow, that's deep. I'm so, glad we so on the same Mojo, So Mojo um, was kicking it with. Um, Jim McFarland. Jim McFarland, who we see who at the time is writing for Detroit, he's entertainment. Press and Detroit News. Um, he, he wrote an entertainment column right. for Detroit News. Wow. Yeah, he, he, actually, he still writes. He, yeah, uh, I've I seen him on several recently in Our guys. Magazine. Yeah, yeah. 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 So he's still doing his thing. Wow. Yeah. 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 And so Mojo just, Mojo's like, uh, yeah, I got these guys, they, they, they got some hot, you know, stuff, it sounds, you know, like they don't have a name yet, so I've been trying to work out a name for the, you know, for the, for the cats, you know, so, you know, like that. And Jim McFarland says, uh, well, you know, a number of names comes to mind, and Mojo jumped on it like a cat pouncing oh, on a, a, a something new. It was kind of flying by And, and he, said, he, right said, on. he said, number of names, he said, that's it, I'm, okay, a number of names. Wow. And he introduced it to us, and you know, and you got it. You can take it, it or you whatever. Yeah. I was like, I was like, man, that's Sound a problem. Right. I like that. Wow. So I can't take credit on the um, right on, on, the, on the actual on the name. Actual name. You give that to oh, right. Mojo yeah. and Jimmy wow. Carter. Wow, that is yeah. awesome. Yeah. So we're gonna take a quick break while the electrifying one okay. does his He's thing. Right. <laughs> that is. Wow. And we're gonna come back. Um, uh, a few years back, you guys were yeah. featured in a electronic 
book um, oh, by Marie Shoggett. Three one one three one love. Wait 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 wait. You know I got the book oh, right here. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Three one three one love. Oh yeah. Well y'all towards the front. I'm way at the back. But uh, <laughs> okay, y'all so flattering. Y'all <laughs> so flattering. <laughs> but um, her three one three one love, uh, a love Very affair started. with electronic music from Detroit, mm -hmm. and you guys um, are featured in here in her wonderful black and white collection. Um, so let's talk about let's talk about how you connected with her. I mean, several, several, several years later, and let's talk about what you guys have been doing. What are you guys up to? And just talk about more number name stuff. While uh, the electrifying one does what he does. Yeah, so I just have to um, I think you're yeah. right. talk about ourselves. Oh, I just yeah. Love you like <laughs> that's, that's, uh, you guys come in. Let me tell you. <laughs> I thought you were the shy one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the camera's on. He's not that shy anymore. Uh, all right. Out, you know, no. But actually, I have to give a uh, shout out to Lou again. Yes. He got us in touch with uh, Marie. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah. And we arranged to get together when she came from Germany. Good. We had a great uh, meeting. And hey, we moved to save her. that. Save it. Sure will. Hey. Okay, yeah, we get we'll get to that. This is T Car Later for the In My House Techno Music Show, where the true stories are definitely told, and y'all already know great music is played. You are in my house, hosted by T Carlito, where the true stories are told and great music is played. Now to the right. That's it, that's it. of the night the people there they just won't quit because the music's really it Sorry. Sorry. you are Sorry. in my house Sorry. hosted by C. Carlito where Sorry. the true stories are told Sorry. and great music is played Sorry. This is T. Carlita for the In My House Techno Music Show, where the true stories are told and great music is definitely played. And it is, I want to just say, beyond an honor to have Name of Numbers sitting right here in the In My House studios. And as we were just talking off camera, we really appreciate you, Electrifying Mojo, for making us that soundtrack in the background, right? right? Can't get no better than that, right? He's with us. Yeah. See? Yeah. Here he goes again. Yeah. He just answers. Right. Mojo, you know well, what? They okay. always say you you out there somewhere, but never, nobody ever sees you. You're so right. it's all good. Nobody hear him. Yeah, we hear him all yeah. the time. It's yeah, something might, about that voice. We might even see him too with that lightning yeah. coming down. Yeah. That's, That's true. Yeah. Right. But yeah. you, have, you have to just. just Keep, 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 keep the mothership going. So we're going to talk about this book. 
So this 300 some odd page book that Marie wow. put together. So I'm going to read you guys this quote. Or what she put in here related to you guys. That's exactly what we said. That's okay, this is exactly what yeah, you said? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. see, that's even yeah. better. Yeah. A number of names appreciates this great endeavor that brings more information about the various genres of electronica and Detroit techno. We, Sterling and Paul, feel that the more world understands the origin and modern work of techno, the better this music will draw interest and innovation as it continues to influence many other forms of music, as can be noted in hip hop, rap, soul, R&B, as well as pop. Names know that techno will continue to grow via its infusion with other musics and cast a spell now and on generations to come. Thanks to the fans, journalists, DJs, and all others who have been instrumental in passing the torch of techno around the globe. We consider us all as one big international family united under the banner of the, this exciting and still evolving art form. Peace and love for all. The best is yet to come. So let's talk about that. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's a nice, nice segue point. into uh, your, uh, best is yet to come. Yeah, right? maybe what we're working on now, yeah. what we're doing we're now. Okay, great. Going. So okay. before we do that, okay. though, mm -hmm. let's 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 talk about how you guys got connected. Because this, I mean, first of all, she put she put her heart and soul into yes, this book, you know, and. Mm -hmm. On her own dime. I just want y'all. I want y'all the world to know that Marie did this out of love for the business. Because a lot of people feel like, hey, got mm -hmm. mm -hmm. wasn't even like that. Oh, you can see it in, in the book. You yeah, can see all the, the way through. All the way through. This uh, is phenomenal. Admiration. Yes. And, and that. And, and it's a beautiful book. It's so when you guys right. got the call, yes. mm -hmm. what did you guys think? Uh, oh. I was we honored. Like her her. We honored. Yeah. And I was grateful that uh, she took some interest in. in I mean, this you, you guys deserve it. And once we finally spoke, you know, we can see that she had that vision that you can see in the uh -huh. book uh -huh. yeah. really materialized. Mm -hmm. uh, we were really, and, yes. you know, pleasant about. Yeah, her she, her. She, uh, all the way from Germany, she comes here and interviews us at our house. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, she's just she's just uh, just a wonderful yeah. uh, uh, journalist as well as um, a photographer. Oh, yeah. she's, uh, she's but photographer. you know if if, if, if um, a lot of folks out there if you've never seen the book or yeah you got you got know, you got you got to see it. That's you, a really great so you, you got to totally yeah. see it. This this right here. Whew. That's one, right. Three, one, yeah. One. yeah. This right here. So let's talk yeah, about transi mm -hmm. transitioning okay. into the future. So you guys, so even before we go there, it's okay. always stuff. I mean, you guys are icons. It's like so much before we get to the future. It's like, what y'all been doing? <laughs> I knew that question was coming up. <laughs> I was holding it for that. I was holding on okay, to that. Yeah. What y'all been doing? Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lately we've been working let's on see, this. where do I start? Right. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Where do we start? We'll Start where you music. feel. Okay, well, shortly Sharp after Sharavari, um, you know, uh, after uh, Sharavari was done, and uh, I think it's good. So, I, uh, at, at that time, when Sharavari was after Sharavari was released, okay, we were, I'm telling, you, stumping. I mean, we were like um, stumping the streets, pounding the pavement is what I'm trying to right. say. Okay. Pounding the pavement. I mean, we're, um, I guess we already talked about going to Mojo. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were doing interviews and uh, different all, over, um, all over Michigan and all of that. So you guys really, it's like, you know how today when you listen to artists tell that story, all it takes is that one. And this was that one for you guys that kind of like just took you from... Some dudes on the street to 
We Pretty had much a household name. We had a uh, we had uh, some blessings in there for sure. Yeah, okay. for sure. We had some blessings yeah. in there. A little talent mixed in with it kind of okay. helped. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Right. okay. But, um, Actually, another big deal was yeah. that you know, although it was uh, a popular song at the time when it first came out, it was on television and radio. It was like there he is you know, again. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like it took a lot of people to, you know, actually, you know, listen to it, love it, okay. and keep it going. Okay. That's where you start getting the um, rest of the genre of the Detroit. Okay. Yeah, but um, we had other interests too now. Okay. You know, I, um, uh, besides, um, besides work, you know, full time job at the same, because it wasn't quite, you know, at that yeah. point, it's not really paying the bills, you know. So, um, so you know, you, you, you get into your work, um, your work thing, and you have a family, and now you're going to, uh, now you're going to um, school. I spent uh, uh, quite a few years at Wayne State. Okay. Yeah, I'm studying, and uh, so that you know, so life was just going on, you know, yeah. and um, like I say. Love music, whatever, but it wasn't my only interest. Mm -hmm. I had other interests. Okay. Know. But we're still working it through that. So right. Okay. And, uh, exactly. Things come back around. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, Paul and I, we would always um, collaborate, uh, on collaborate and doing something. Ideas. Maybe not as serious or really, you know, pushing it. That sometimes we just, just for fun. Right. Paul and I get together, you know, just for fun. And I but, took um, school as well. And yeah, so but eventually, nice. but eventually, though, we did get a uh, a calling that, you know, hey, you guys um, are want to be seen. Uh, you guys are being asked uh, around, you know, the world to, you know, go I'm here. Like, well, that's there, perfect right? because we actually have all this stuff that we can put out now. Uh, right. Okay, so, good. so that was, but that, that was, but that was like in two thousand, I'd say two thousand two. Okay. Exactly. Wow. And we really came back as far as trying to do something new. Okay. And pick up back where we left off. Okay. That That's was like two thousand two. Uh, yeah, we did the uh, European tours. Yeah, we did some European tours then, uh, Germany. So when you guys went on tour, how did you guys perform hmm. those? How did you guys perform on tour? Because as a producer of a record, you know, you're not necessarily, I don't know. I, I, I'm just trying to figure, I'm trying to envision what that looked like. Okay. Well, you know, a lot of shows, uh, you have your, your techno DJs, they handle everything and they do the mixes. Okay. You have some that add a few live instruments. Basically, we're more live instruments and voices. Okay. Yeah, basically we've always been um, you know, a like a band. Like a band. We've had, we've okay. Been, we're okay. a twist right. from exactly. old school bands to new school DJ and we're right in between. Right. But we've done both, so we kind of put them together. Right. So it would be you guys on stage? So it would be us on stage. And um, uh, okay, we our female vocalists and we'll be doing some live instruments right. and live we'll vocals. And the live vocals. So y'all would have a whole concert and going so, on. So yeah, we done. Wow. Um, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, but um, more in Europe though. Uh, more in Europe. Okay. Pretty Actually, much. Uh, Europe is really uh, a great reception area for us. Oh yeah, always, uh, always, I mean, always, uh, always, uh, always. I don't know why it is sometimes. It takes someone else to realize what's going on before their home town. Does. Always, exactly. and it's, they but Europe has always been very they receptive. Still, people are still to new talent, to new um, to new talent, material, um, right. okay. to do innovative forms. Things. Right, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah. More so yeah. than you know uh, this area. So yeah. before we touch on uh, what you guys are, what you guys have been uh, working on in, in the studio mm -hmm. to okay. to to come out forthcoming. Okay. Let's talk. Let, let me let me throw. I'm gonna throw some names All now. Right. Okay. Okay. So we already talked about Daryl Shannon. Yeah, let's drop some names. We already talked about Direct Drive. Okay. We've talked about and heard from the Electrifying Mojo okay. several yeah, times yeah, tonight. Right. Uh, let's talk about the dance shows. Hmm. Okay. The, like scene. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we was at the same time. That's quite same, yeah. So, I can remember very clearly 
there was a dance line, and I want to say that Morris, forgive me if I get the year wrong, but it's okay. on YouTube okay. now. Okay. Oh, yeah. And it was the Shari Bari dance line. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the guy Moses, and Fast Freddy, yes, and LaWanda. Wow. Okay, yeah. They're going yes, no down. Yeah, okay, right. okay, you do? Okay, good. Yeah, right. So they're going down the line yeah, right. with the Shari Bari right. going on. Right. Right. So when yeah. you guys, I mean, okay, that moment that. This is like such so many part well, you questions. Well, know, you know what? I used to, uh, I used to, what was this uh, little school? I wasn't quite in high school, I don't think. Or maybe I was, just starting high school. But that was the thing. When you get home from school. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock <laughs> and it's time okay, to wrap right, me. Right okay. now, talk to seven, seven o'clock. <laughs> right. We don't we're stop. Right. That's right. Yeah. Sugar, sugar, salt, salt. 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 Yeah. If you didn't get off, it ain't our fault. And you guys were he, right in the throes of that. I, I would come home and I'd watch that show. You know, that was that was just a favorite, you know, watching, you know, the uh, yeah. watching the scene, all the fabulous right. dancers and of and course the man and all the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And but that was long that was awesome. before I'm saying when I used to come home. Before. I was, I never, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm I just saying, thought, can you imagine that? Yeah, right. So like, okay, so you watch this as a kid. Blowing, yeah. right. So tell me about that. So yeah. when you first saw that and you first experienced, you know, the Shari Vari song is now on our TV stations. Okay. Like how'd you guys how'd you guys receive that or accept uh, oh, how'd you guys? It, it was awesome you, because uh first of all I went through a few people, uh just uh Bill Lee, the people that knew Mojo, and they took us behind the scenes. And they heard what we had, and we wanted to play it. I, I, I don't think Nat Morris even knew at the time. Okay. They played it, and we were in the camera booth, where they, you know, directing where the cameras go and everything. They played the song, and Nat Morris was like, "That's a nice song." It reminded him of something. I could, I oh, remember. it reminded him of the, something. Snapshot, say snapshot or some, yeah, at the beginning. Slay? Slay, I think. Yeah, okay. At the beginning. He was saying it reminded right. him of something. Right. Okay. Which is fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. He kept going, he kept jamming. I'm sitting in there, you got to know it's me. I said, like, yeah, that's us. You know, we talk for a minute, and he plays, it's going on. He's like, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And he goes out there and he goes, this is uh, names and numbers. Uh, you know? He, he <laughs> messed that name right? up, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but it was all but, good, yeah, though, yeah. But, you know, that was our first time meeting him. Right. You know? wow. exactly. And actually, uh, at that time, we had a manager. But you want to know how it felt? I mean, just how. I, no, that's a good. That's good. I like okay, that too. Okay, but that's yeah. So when it was being played on the show, you guys was wow. I, see, I used to watch it. I had no idea y'all was right there at the time. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, initially, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that's that's such a gratifying feeling and experience. You know, you know. of course, and you know to um, see that your work is. Being recognized and appreciated. And appreciated. And that was hard work too to get and to. And after that point. all that hard work, I mean, you know, it we was stomping the streets. Yeah, and, you know, so of you course I was right. just you know, just elated uh, by the was, whole uh, thing. It was just it's kinda like uh, it was, seeing a dream come true. Yeah. Like, wow. I looked at this show forever and loud the music and blah blah blah. Now yeah. you're on it. Yeah. yeah, it was quite yeah. mind blowing, and that, and that was a that was such a well put together show too. Oh yeah, I think so. yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, that was, I, that I was totally a well agree. Put together show. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Nat Morris. We oh, I, yeah. I work with yeah. him. I, I actually, uh, yeah, too. yeah, I've actually yeah. worked That's with Nat right. twice. Came to get him. He had a, a reunion, and uh, I have it hanging up on my wall. Okay. He did a scene so, reunion. Oh, wow. yeah, did uh, favorite, that was the first one. Okay, and then he did his birthday party and reunion party. Uh, uh, recently, and I'm just telling you, though they, they, the love that we had for that show is like unbelievable, oh, yeah. and they still come out. Yeah. And it was actually, I believe, R.J. Watkins who actually, when he met that us, camera. broke his, uh, put us back into the studio behind the scenes. Oh, okay. And, and okay. To, to try. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think anybody would argue that. Um, Detroit, the Motor City, is the music capital of the world. All right? day, every day. Be it Motown. I mean, be it Motown, jazz, jazz techno, whatever. Techno, yeah. house. Yeah. All of the above. Chicago might be classic. Well, Chicago might be classic, but we just made it gritty. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and it, it's kind of hard to explain, but like Smokey Robinson, he would try to explain how, you know, all this talent from Detroit, and he's like, well, maybe it's something in the water. 
Huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, we surrounded by water, yeah, that's we're for sure. By it, so, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So look, guys, we are definitely going to come back, and I promise you guys, we're going to get to what they're doing now, because I know that's what you all have been waiting all these years for. But I love history, and I love the stories, and this is stuff that people need to know. And I appreciate you guys for coming and talking about it. Yeah, yeah, too, for for real. Just putting it out there and spreading the word. For inviting us here. It's, it's quite a pleasure. So you do quite a uh, yes. quite a justice to the... the oh, I appreciate you it. Do. I'm you do. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So we are going to take a break. And we're going to hear from... Hum the Grinder. You guys know who that is, too. Oh, wow. You got a Hum the Grinder Say that one. We'll talk about that one, too. See, we're going to have to go back. Y'all got to come back. Y'all just got to come back again. Anytime. No. Sure How about tomorrow? Sure. Oh, y'all can okay. spend the night. It's okay. my house. Okay. I got to let up house. You can just stay here. Okay. Huh? Let's just do certain hours every day. Yeah, yeah. You're going to just film the whole thing. So we're going we're gonna to hear from uh, Hump the Grinder. He is uh, planning a, reu a Hair Wars reunion in Las Vegas in uh, January 2018. Oh, wow. And uh, we're going to go out there and hang out oh, with some wow. hair people okay. and uh, actually uh, film some okay. video okay. Uh, he's putting together. He oh, did wow. the Hair Wars story, but okay. we're going to wow. film some more stuff. But we're going to do it out okay. in Vegas, hang out. It's not going to be a show. It's just mm -hmm. hair people and people that right. love the business. We're going to get together. So we got a little promo about the uh, Hair Wars reunion in uh, Vegas okay. coming up. Okay. So we're going to take a pause for that. And I promise you, we're coming right back. Wow. And they're going to tell you guys what's coming up. Can for... we just stay on air and do it like a reality show for a whole week? We'll just stay on air. Yeah, we'll we can. Yeah, exactly. And we'll go Facebook Live and everything. Nah, and Snapchat, and tweet. We can tweet it. We should get Donald Trump something else to tweet about. Oh, right, no, just uh, shh. No, we didn't. We didn't, we didn't uh, uh, <laughs> no Trump's here. All right. This is T. Carly. That's the Donald Duck you said? Yeah, oh, that right, right. Trump cool. Tower. Yeah. yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 We all in the same I thought you had said something else, but yeah. Yeah, Trump. Daffy yeah. and Goofy and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they got a sense of humor. All right. Number of names, T. Carlita. We'll be right back. And I promise you, they're going to tell y'all what's coming up. Hair Wars producer Hump the Grinder invite you to the Hair Wars reunion in Las Vegas, Monday through Wednesday, January 15th through the 17th, 2018, for a series of parties and get togethers. The hot spot will be the fabulous Luxor Hotel. If you're relevant, we'll see you at the Hair Wars reunion in Las Vegas. Make your plans now. For more info, go to hairwarsustour.com. It's entertainment, baby. You are In My House, hosted by T. Carlina, where the true stories are told and great music is played. They're in your pockets, they're in your shoes, they're doing it to stall and we'll stop bothering you. You try to ignore them and lock them out, but this morning there was one in your side.
All right, this is T. Carlita for the In My House Techno Music Show, where the true stories are told, and great music is definitely played. And it is, I want to just say, beyond an honor to have Name of Numbers sitting right here in the In My House studios. And as we were just talking off camera, we really appreciate you, Electrifying Mojo, for making us that soundtrack in the background, right? right? Can't get no better than that, right? He's with us. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. Here he goes again. Yeah. He just answers. Right. Mojo, you know well, what? They okay. always say you you out there somewhere, but never nobody ever sees you. You're so right. it's all good. Everybody hear him? Yeah, we hear him all yeah. the time. It's yeah, something might, about that voice. We might even see him too with that lightning yeah. coming down. Yeah. That's, That's true. Yeah. Right. But yeah. you, have, you have to just. just so we're going to talk about this book. So this 300 some odd page book that we read put together. So I'm going to read you guys this quote. Or what she put in here related to you guys. That's exactly what we said. Okay, this is exactly what you said. Oh, see that's even better. A number of names appreciates this great endeavor that brings more information about the various genres of electronica and Detroit techno. We, Sterling and Paul, feel that the more world understands the origin and modern work of techno, the better this music will draw interest and innovation as it continues to influence many other forms of music, as can be noted in hip hop, rap, soul, R&B, as well as pop. Names know that techno will continue to grow via its infusion with other musics and cast a spell now and on generations to come. Thanks to the fans, journalists, DJs, and all others who have been instrumental in passing the torch of techno around the globe. We consider us all as one big international family united under the banner of the, this exciting and still evolving art form. Peace and love for all. The best is yet to come. So let's talk about that. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's a nice, nice segue point. into uh, your, uh, best is yet to come. Yeah, right. that's maybe what we're working on now, yeah. what we're doing we're now. Okay, great. Going. So okay. before we do that, okay. though, mm -hmm. let's 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 talk about how you guys okay. got connected. Because this, I mean, first of all, she put she put her heart and soul into yes, this book, you know, and. On her own dime. I just want y'all. I want y'all the world to know that Marie did this out of love for the business. Because a lot of people feel like, hey, here comes another. Mm -hmm. Wasn't even like that. Oh, you can see it in, in the book. You yeah, can see all the way through. All the way through. This uh, is phenomenal. Admiration. Yes. And, and, and that. And, and it's a beautiful book. It's so when you guys paper. got the call, yes. mm -hmm. what did you guys think? Uh, oh, I was we honored. Like meet her. Very honored. Yeah. And I was grateful that um, she took some interest in, in I mean, this, and you, you guys deserve it. And once we finally spoke, you know, we can see that she had that vision that you can see in the uh -huh. book. Uh -huh. Yeah. Really materialized. Mm -hmm. so, you know, we were really, and, yes. you know, pleasant of uh, yeah, her see, she, uh, All the way from Germany. She comes here and interviews us at our house. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, she's Which just is. she's just uh, just a wonderful yeah. uh, uh, journalist as well as um, a photographer. Oh, yeah. she's, oh. she's she's but photographer. you know if oh, if, if um, a lot of folks out there if you've never seen the book or yeah you, you got know, I, you got you got yeah, you, you got to see it. That's you, a really you, great you, you got to totally yeah. see it. This this right here. Whew. That's one, right. Three, one, yeah. One. yeah. It's right here. So let's yeah, talk about trans mm -hmm. transitioning okay. into the future. So you guys, so even before we go there, it's okay. always stuff. I mean, you guys are icons. It's like so much before we get to the future. It's like, what y'all been doing? <laughs> I knew that question was coming up. <laughs> I was holding it for that. I was holding on okay, to that. Yeah. What y'all been doing? Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lately we've been working let's on see, this. where do I start? Right. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Where do we start? We'll Start where you music. feel. Okay, well, shortly Start after Sharavari, um, you know, uh, after uh, Sharavari was done, and. Uh, I think it's good, so. 
I, uh, at, at that time, when Shar Fry was, after Shar Fry was released, okay, we were, I'm telling you, stumping, I mean, we were like um, stumping the streets, pounding the pavement is what I'm trying to right. say. Okay. Pounding the pavement. I mean, we're, um, I guess we already talked about going to Mojo. Oh, we were doing interviews and uh, all over, um, all over Michigan and all of that. So you guys really, it's like, you know how today when you listen to artists tell that story, all it takes is that one. And this was that one for you guys that kind of like just took you from some dudes on the street to... We Pretty much a household name. We had a uh, we had uh, some blessings in there for sure. Yeah, okay. for sure. We had some blessings yeah. in there. A little talent mixed in with it. Okay. 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 Right. okay. But, uh, Actually, another big deal was yeah. that you know, although it was uh, a popular song at the time when it first came out, it was on television and radio. It was like there he is again. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the electronics going. You know? yeah. But it was like it took a lot of people to you know actually you know listen to it, love it. Okay. And keep it going. Okay. That's where you start getting the um, rest of the genre of the Detroit. Okay. Yeah, but um, we had other interests too now. Okay. You know, I, um, uh, besides, um, besides work, you know, full time job at the same, because it wasn't quite, you know, at that yeah. point, it's not really paying the bills, you know. So, um, so you know, you, 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 you get into your work, um, your work thing, and you have a family and now you're going to uh, now you're going to um, school I spent uh, uh, quite a few years at Wayne State okay. yeah studying and uh, so that you know so life was just going on you know yeah. and um, like I say love music whatever but it wasn't my only interest mm -hmm. I had other interests okay you know? but we're still working in it through that. Right. And, uh, exactly. Things come back around. Right. You know, Paul and I, we would always um, collaborate, yeah, collaborate and doing something. Ideas. Maybe not as serious or really, you know, pushing it. That sometimes we just, just for fun. Right. Paul and I get together, you know, just for fun. And I but, took um, school as well. And yeah. So we but eventually, but eventually, though, we did get a, uh, a calling that, you know, hey, you guys, um, are want to be seen. Uh, you guys are being asked uh, around, you know, the world to, uh, you know, go no, here right, well, That's there, perfect right? because we actually have all this stuff that we can put out now. Uh, right. Okay, so, so that was, but that was, but that was like in 2000, I'd say 2002. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. And we really came back as far as trying to do something new. Okay. And pick up back where we left off. Okay. That That's was like 2002. Yeah, we did the uh, European tours. Yeah, we did some European tours then, uh, Germany. So when you guys went on tour, how did you guys perform hmm. those? How did you guys perform on tour? Because as a producer of a record, <clears throat> you know, you're not necessarily, I don't know. I, I, I'm just trying to figure, I'm trying to envision what that looked like. Okay. Well, you know, a lot of shows, uh, you have your, your techno DJs, they handle everything and they do the mixes. Okay. You have some that add a few live instruments. Basically, we're more live instruments and voices. Okay. Yeah, basically, we've always been um, live. like a band. Like a band. We've had, we've okay. Been, we're okay. a twist right. from old school bands to new school DJ, and we're right in between. Right. But we've done both, so we kind of put them together. Right? So it would be you guys on stage So it would be us on stage and um, uh, okay, we, our female vocalists and we'll be doing some live instruments right. and live we'll vocals. And the live vocals. So y'all would have a whole concert and going so, on. So yeah, we done, wow. um, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, but, um, more in Europe though. Uh, more in Europe. Okay. Pretty Actually, much. Uh, Europe is really uh, a great reception area for us. <laughs> oh yeah, always, uh, always, I mean, always, uh, always. I don't know why it is sometimes 
it takes someone else to realize what's going on before they're home. <laughs> always, and it's, they, but Europe has always been very they receptive. Still, people are still it's a new, new talent, to new, um, new talent, to new um, right. okay. to do art forms. forms. Right, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah. More so yeah. than you know uh, this area. So yeah. before we touch on uh, what you guys are, what you guys have been uh, working on in, in the studio mm -hmm. to, okay. to to come out forthcoming, okay. let's talk. Let, let me let me throw. I'm gonna throw some names All now. Right. Okay. Okay. So we already talked about Daryl Shannon. Yeah, let's drop some names. We already talked about Direct Drive. Okay. We've talked about and heard from the Electrifying Mojo okay. several yeah, times yeah, tonight. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the dance shows. Hmm. Okay. The, like scene. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we said at the same time. That's quite interesting. Yeah. So, I can remember very clearly there was a dance line, and I want to say that, Morris, forgive me if I get the year wrong, but it's okay. on YouTube okay. now. Okay. All right. And it was the Sharivari dance line. Mm -hmm. And the guy Moses, and Fast Freddy, yeah, that's and right. LaWanda. Oh, Wow. Okay, yeah. They're going yes, down. Yeah, okay, you do? Okay, good. Yeah, right. So they're going down the line yeah, that's right. with the Shari Rari right. going on. Right. Right. So when yeah. you guys, I mean, okay, that moment that this is like such so many parts. Well, you questions. know, you know what? I used to, uh, I used to. What was this uh, middle school? I wasn't quite in high school, I don't think. or maybe I was just starting high school. But that was the thing. When you get home from school. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock <laughs> and it's time to wrap me right now. Talk to seven o'clock. Right. We right. don't that's stop. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar, sugar, salt, salt. Yeah. If you didn't get off, it ain't our fault. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta love yeah. Detroit. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. And, and you guys were he, right in the throes of that. I, I would come home and I watch that show. You know, that was that was just a favorite. You know, watching. You know the. Uh, Watching the scene, all the fabulous right. dancers, and of and course the man and all stuff. Yeah. And dress. But that was long that was, before. I'm so when I used to come home. Before. I was, I never, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But I'm I just saying, thought, can you imagine that? Yeah, right. So like, okay, so you thought, watch this as a kid. Yeah. Right. And the next right. thing you know, next thing, thing I know, I'm on, I'm on there. <laughs> so yeah. tell me yeah. about that. So yeah. when you first saw that, and you first experienced, you know. The Shari Vari song is now on our TV stations. Okay. Like, how did you guys how did you guys receive that or accept? Uh, oh, how'd you guys, it was how'd awesome you, because uh, first of all, I went through a few people. Uh, just uh, Bill Lee, the people that knew Mojo, and they took us behind the scenes, and they heard what we had and we wanted to play it. I I, I don't think Matt Morris even knew at the time. Okay, they played it. And we were in the camera booth where they're, you know, directing where the cameras go and everything. They played a song, and I'm more than like, that's a nice song. It reminded them of something. I could, I can't oh, remember. it reminded them of the something. Snapshot. Snapshot. Or snapshot. Or yeah, at the beginning. Slay? Slay, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. At the beginning. He was saying it reminded right. them of something. Right. Which okay. is fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. He kept going, they kept jamming. I'm sitting in there. You got to know it's me. I said, like, yeah, that's us. You know, we talked for a minute. And it plays, it's going on, he's like, that's pretty hot, that's pretty hot. And he goes out there and he goes, this is uh, names and numbers, uh, you know. He, he <laughs> messed that name right. up, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but it was all but, good, yeah, though, yeah. But, you know, that was our first time meeting him. Right. You know? exactly. And actually, uh, at that time, we had a manager. But you want to know how it felt. I mean, just how I, No, that's a good, that's good. I like okay, that, too. Okay, but that's, yeah. So when it was being played on the show, you guys were, wow. See, I used to watch it. I had no idea y'all was right there at the time. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Initially, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that's, that's such a gratifying feeling. And experience. You know, yeah. of course. And, you know, to um, see that your work is being recognized. And appreciated. And appreciated. And that was hard work, too, to get and to that And after all point. that hard work, I mean, you know. It, we it were stomping the streets. Yeah, and, so, know. of Getting course, I was right. just, you know, just elated uh, by the was, whole uh, thing. It was just. It's kind of like uh, it was, seeing a dream come true. Yeah. Like, wow. I looked at this show forever and loud the music and blah, blah, blah. Now, yeah. you're on it. 
you know, yeah. and it was quite yeah. mind blowing. And that, and that was a that was such a well put together show too. Oh yeah, I think so too. yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, that was, I, that I was totally a well agree put together with you. show. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Nat Morris. We oh, I, yeah, I work with him. I, I actually, R. R. Too. yeah, yeah. I've actually yeah. worked That's with Nat right. twice. To get him. He had a, a reunion and uh, I have it hanging up on my wall. He did a scene reunion. That was the first one. Okay. And then he did his birthday party and reunion party. Uh, uh, recently, and I'm just telling you, though they, they, the love that we had for that show is like unbelievable, oh, yeah. and they still come out. Yeah. And it was actually, I believe, R.J. Watkins who actually, when he met that us, camera. broke us, uh, put us back into the studio behind the scenes. Oh, okay. And, and okay. To, to try. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't think anybody would argue that. Um, Detroit, the Motor City, is the music capital of the world. All right? day, every day. Be it Motown. I mean, be it Motown, jazz, jazz techno, whatever. Techno, yeah. house. Yeah. All of the above. Chicago might be classic. Well, Chicago might be classic, but we just made it gritty. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and it's kind of hard to explain, but like Smokey Robinson, he would try to explain how, you know, all this talent from Detroit, and he's like, well, maybe there's something in the water. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, we surrounded by water, yeah, that's we're for sure. By it, so, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So look, guys, we are definitely going to come back, and I promise you guys, we're going to get to what they're doing now, because I know that's what you all have been waiting all these years for. But I love history, and I love the stories, and this is stuff that people need to know. And I appreciate you guys for coming and talking about it. Appreciate it. you for appreciate real. You putting it out there and spreading the word. For inviting us here. It's, it's quite a pleasure. So you do quite a uh, yes. quite a justice to the. the oh, I appreciate you it. Do. I'm you do. You. Thank you. Right. I really appreciate right. that. So we are going to take a break, and we're going to hear from. Hum the Grinder. You guys know who that is, oh, too. Yeah. Well, you got a Hum the Grinder story. Say that one. We'll talk about that one, too. See, we're going to have to go back. Y'all got to come back. Y'all just got to come back again. Anytime. No. Sure is that. How about tomorrow? Sure is that. Um, okay. Y'all can spend the night. Okay. It's my house. Okay. Okay. I got to lay out house. Right. You can just stay here. Let's just do a week. Okay. Let's just do certain right. hours every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to yeah. just film yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to hear from uh, Hump the Grinder. He is uh, planning a, reu a Hair Wars reunion in Las mm -hmm. Vegas in uh, January okay. 2018. Oh, wow. And uh, we're going to go out there and hang out oh, with some wow. hair people okay. and uh, actually uh, film some okay. video okay. Uh, he's putting together. He oh, did wow. the Hair Wars story, but okay. we're going to wow. film some more stuff. But we're going to do it out okay. in Vegas, hang out. It's not going to be a show. It's just mm -hmm. hair people and people that right. love the business. We're going to get together. So we got a little promo about the uh, Hair Wars reunion in uh, Vegas okay. coming up. Okay. So we're going to take a pause for that. And I promise you, we're coming right back. Wow. And they're going to tell you guys what's coming up. Can we just stay on air and do it like a reality show for a whole week? We'll just stay on air. Yeah, we'll we can. Yeah, exactly. And we'll go Facebook Live and everything. Nah, and Snapchat, and tweet. We can tweet it. We should get Donald Trump something else to tweet about. Oh, no, just a shh. No, we didn't. No, uh, no Trump's here. All right. This is T. Carly. Oh. That's the Donald Duck you said? Yeah, oh, that right, right. Trump's cool. turn. Yeah. yeah, oh, okay. Like yeah. Yeah. We all in the same I thought you had said something else, but yeah. Yeah, Trump. Daffy yeah. and Goofy and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they got a sense of humor. <laughs> Hair Wars producer Hump the Grinder invites you to the Hair Wars reunion in Las Vegas, Monday through Wednesday, January 15th through the 17th, 2018, for a series of parties and get togethers. The hot spot will be the fabulous Luxor Hotel. If you're relevant, we'll see you at the Hair Wars reunion in Las Vegas. Make your plans now. For more info, go to HairWarsUSTour.com. It's entertainment, baby. I just love Hair Wars. Saturday, November 25th, we're going to pump that bass up one more notch, cousin, with the legends of techno bass at Birch Marketplace. Presented by Bob's Music Group and hosted by your cousin Reggie Reg and DJ Maestro. Special guests include Nucleus, Eric Travis, Quantum of the Unstoppables, Aux 88, and the Egyptian Lover. And we're taking it back to the basement on this one with an old school jig contest and cash prize. Tickets are on sale right now at eventbrite.com or call 248-835-0219. 
You are In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. Some of you will come and hang out with the folks there. I mean, it's going down. 2018, Hair Wars Reunion. Not a hair show. Just hanging out with people that love and enjoy hair and hair people. And, you know, it's going to be a big party in Vegas. Never been there. I'm totally looking forward to it. Who doesn't love hair? I promise not to go to the... Vegas. I promise not to go to the Elvis Chapel and just marry some strange dude. Okay. Because I've heard that happens in Vegas. It won't be me. Yeah. All right. Let's get back I'm over gonna, here. I guess I got to cancel my trip. Damn. <laughs> so let's come on back here. We got Sterling. We got Paul. Number of names. We making history in Detroit. We already talked about Mojo has already blessed it with a few thunderous electronic okay. power. Thank you so much for landing and coming yeah. through. I told you I was going to have Mojo on my show sooner That's or later. Right. But um, now... Forget all of this. Let's cut to the chase. Okay. What's coming up? What y'all got going on? Okay, what's coming up? Uh, we, we're in the studio currently working. We got some songs finished, ready to roll. Yep, we're and y'all gonna be hearing that on out. here too. Okay, okay. So those will be some insight to that. Okay. And we're currently working with uh, Brendan Gillen in the studio. Okay. And also working with uh, DJ Hill and Jiggle Records. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got quite a few things coming up. Right. So, uh, you know, all goes um, as planned. We're expecting to have something out in March. In, fact, in March. Okay. okay. In March. Yeah. So, wait, so how are you guys going to release it? Are you going to do electronic? Are you doing vinyl? Are you doing both? Do you guys have an idea uh, of what you want to do with that? Likely vinyl, uh, a CD. Yeah. And, um, right. Oh, and, and. and Cyberspace. So, right. Okay. Yeah. I like how you said cyberspace. Okay, I would say all of the above. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, okay, right. okay. However you can get yeah. it, we got you going. Okay, okay, okay. cool. But um, Brendan Gillen, he's, uh, he's a uh, really remarkable uh, producer, engineer. engineer, you know, cutting edge kind of guy. And he's from the D, too, hey, yeah, you know? That's awesome. Hey. So when, when, he also when has a version of Sharvari by the name Ectomorph. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So we're we're currently working with him now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So y'all heard it here first. Um, Name of numbers is they ain't going nowhere. Oh, they we still got, got a going on. Um, oh. oh yeah. Possible we, uh, show no, tentatively we, coming up. In December in Germany. Yes, we do. So y'all yeah, still traveling exactly. and touring too? Uh, yes. We, yeah, yeah, we're. Um, just when they thought y'all was just and, sitting and in the things, basement. Things, <laughs> yeah. But you know, things. That takes within, a little of that too. I would say within the last <laughs> six months, things have really been picking up. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, things have really been picking up within the last six months. Uh, Might have been two years trying to get to that six months. But yeah. these um, last six months have. Uh, yeah, proven to be they're, they're real productive. Okay. And I um, I see us having some new material out there I, that um, we'd like um, everybody to check get a chance to check it. out and yeah. and um, I'm excited about it really. Okay. Really, yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited and I know the viewers are excited. Mm -hmm. So let's 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 touch on a little bit. We don't have to go in full detail, okay. but let me let me get your perspective on 
Charivari Detroit. You know, the, the, the festival, the Charivari Festival oh, yeah. that has taken place mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years, mm -hmm. two, three yeah, years I think now? they do that yearly. Yeah. 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 Right. So do you guys have any input on that or are you guys uh, involved we, or what? We've actually yeah. been invited yeah. to that okay. uh, on at least two occasions. Right. Uh, Number two. Yeah, for some reason that just didn't work out. Okay. But we're looking forward to. To okay. their next one. To their next one. To their We'll be there. Exactly. Because we need to yeah. re-meet up those yeah. namesakes. Oh. For, Child you know, Johnson, Teresa Hill, right. Teresa Hill, right. right. That's right. Wow. And, and, all these and folks. just the fact that, uh, you know, reunion of the names from the source of things. Right. Brand new exactly. Day, you know. nice. Yeah, yeah, these folks, uh, they have a lot to do with the progression of Absolutely. techno, yeah. electronic yeah, music. Yeah, for sure, for sure. These parties sure. cause really forward right. it. That's what Other got parties, the right, they're really forward. Some there, of those people it? started making records and yeah. now it's a worldwide revolution. Right. Yes, it is. But that's what it started from. Right. That's where it started from. And that's what you guys said. It was like the nightclub yeah. thing and Todd yeah. Johnson was yeah. right yeah. in the throes yeah. of that yeah. time yeah. frame. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Basically, yeah. basically, yeah. it was so enterprising for these young high school folks. Yeah. But that's what they did. Mm -hmm. They... Um, they had clubs, party clubs. And they were positive yeah. clubs. Yeah. 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 Right, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 they have some. Uh, oh. Gables. 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 Okay. <laughs> so that was the we other name Gables. Yeah. 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 Gables was one of our. And they would have some of the. Uh, they have rivals with. Some yeah. of the most yeah. interesting uh, venues, too. Okay. You know, from the Bonnie YWCA Brooke, to YWCA, the Bonnie Brook. Park Avenue. Oh, Bonnie Brook, wait, wait. Let me see. It was the Bonnie. You know what, Mark? Bonnie Brook is where our high school prom was at. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Which they took, they tore down the Bonnie Brook, turned it into Kmart. Oh no! Oh, right. It's that, over there on Telegraph yeah. and, and Seven Mile between yeah, Seven and Eight Mile. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, it, it was yeah. It went from the Bonnie Brook. They tore it down. Then uh, that's where the Bonnie Brook used to be. Yeah. I had only gone there once. Yeah, that's where it was. Uh, yeah, and then it ended up being Kmart. I should have turned it down. It had a store of value. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's gone now. So, yeah, right. And right. then it turned into a Kmart. And now it's a U Haul yep. yep. something. That now. Rolled yeah. back. Yeah, <laughs> <it's not laughs> a month ago. And I saw the U Haul. Bonnie Brook Country Club. Yeah. Club. Used to be golf yeah, courses yeah, okay. and all that. that was, oh, yeah. Yeah. We had a problem. We also did the YWCA downtown. Beautiful settings. Oh, Park Avenue. I remember that. And we were, I think, we're the only ones that threw a party at the Book Cadillac Hotel. Yeah. Wow. There, yeah. So much. Yeah. Also the Leland House. Oh, Leland House right used to be the bomb. Studio, Studio 54. 54. Yeah. Yep. Right. Which now is the City Club. This yeah. And they still exist. They still got okay. parties okay. in the basement okay. there. Okay. It's pretty But these young guys, now, 16, but, 15, 17 years old. Doing their thing. Oh, wow. When they, they were putting oh, wow. it together. Wow. And, got nice, and made a, um, got a nice uh, such an impact. Right. That I don't think they probably would have even imagined right. would have. What you know, what what we just figured we're going out to a good party, to. dancing a great music, all right, having a okay. good time. That's all we thought but, it was. But, but I knew it was something special tears. about it. Yeah. And wow. just it was just a feeling that I mean, it's such a you know, you're having such a great time. The music, it, it did feel special. Yeah. Most you know? yeah Especially did. when things uh, changed, <laughs> it didn't look like that anymore. Yeah. Okay. Then you recognize how special it really was. And that's the thing that I really appreciate about. You know, guys like yourself and a lot of these other, like, DJs and producers. I mean, mm -hmm. Underground Resistance, Mike Banks okay. and the crew, yeah. Kevin yeah. Sinus and Juan, okay. blah, blah, everybody. They still Absolutely. out there. Yeah. And you guys, I mean, survived that transition okay. period, you know? Exactly. And now you guys are getting ready to come out with some new stuff. And it's going to be awesome. So what is the vibe of the new stuff? Is it going to be a, a revisiting of the old, the new? Give us some, get, introduce something okay. from what they're going to hear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, 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 first of all, I would say it's different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it, we're always going to be different. It's a mix of old school yet new school, but it's, it's different. It's kind of hard to describe. Yeah. To you and, and each song is has its own unique style, not style, same style, but each song has its own unique character to it. Right. Okay. You know, okay. Okay. I don't think anything sounds like. Well, this one sounds like that one. That it's you know it's. They uh, take their own space. Yeah. They take their own space. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, boy, you know what? It's kind of hard to describe that. 
Well, you know what? We not even go, we not even uh, gonna describe it. Okay. It's different. It's unique. Actually, I'd rather hear you. It's a number of names, right? right. (laughs) So it's a number of sounds, all in one. How about that? So we we kind of like fast to describe themselves. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you guys, um, I'm look, y'all. You want to know how honored I am? I got the scoop. You got. I'm gonna share a little bit. Their With favorite. their permission, of course, of what to expect in the upcoming releases. How about in March. that? Mm-hmm. In March. Mm-hmm. And they've already told you that it's different. So get your different, as I say to the preschool kids, get your different listening ears on. Okay. Absolutely. Open your minds up. And well, you know what was now? Who's that? Uh, fucking, uh, 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 George, Par- George, George, Clinton. George Clinton said, free your mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> So free your mind and be and ready. Rest will follow. Okay. Number of names, y'all. I am super excited that you guys have really been in my house. That is oh. so awesome. Long it's overdue, awesome. but no such thing. Awesome for Divine God is ours. Thank you. I appreciate you. So they've already told you it's coming out in March. So you know what that means? They gotta come back. No. Oh. Oh, y'all, y'all staying here until March. Right. Yeah. Oh, y'all moving tomorrow. Oh, we're doing a reality show. 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 Oh, we're doing Scan 7, get the mask on. Right, Got to get you over here next. I know y'all over there chopping it up in the studio, getting y'all thing on too. Okay. But uh, y'all y'all next. I'm going to be after you. That's right. All right, but uh, Lou. thank you though, seriously, Lou, for uh, making this happen. Yeah, this moment you, in history. Yep. We, we really appreciate it. Right, Absolutely. So for now, check out just a little teaser from a name of numbers. Something new coming to you. Something different. Exclusively on the In, in My, my house, house Techno Music Show. Show. Hey! Check it out. All the boys You are in my house. Hosted by T. Hermione. Where the true stories are told, a great music is played. I call to see if you're coming out to play. Well, that concludes this week's episode of the In My House Techno Music Show. I'm your host, T. Carlita, and I want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Trackmaster Lou for connecting me with a name of numbers, Sterling Jones and Paul Leslie. It was it was truly an honor to have you here in my house. And I appreciate you guys for uh, just sitting there and letting me just mess your name up throughout this whole show. I mean, I kept saying it wrong and you guys never corrected me. So let me get that right. It is a number of names. Not what I was thinking or calling them throughout this whole show. So this is this has been a great treat for us um this show went a little longer than the usual hour but you know what hey it's worth it the stories that they shared were absolutely amazing and it was great to be able to sit with these guys and share their life with you so until next week this is some bread Carlita. and cheese and fine white wine thanks again for tuning in Design and cheese and the matter be back time. next week with more true stories and more Could great music be real thing just in my place. house, hosted by T. Kermit, where the true stories are told and great music is played. because he's down on his etiquette. Shari Vari's really it. Shara Vari. Shara Vari. Shara Vari. Smoking on his cigarette Listening to his carcasset Cruising with his hot playmate 
in his Porsche 928 Heading for the highest heights For the climax of the night The people there, they just won't quit Because the music's really it Sherry, Vary Sherry, Vary Because the music's really eats. 